we have just a week to get prepared for the brand new dungeon quest update oh my goodness guys we finally got a release date for the dungeon kind of so we're gonna discuss that in today's video so let's jump straight into it today Obviously, as I said, we kind of have a confirmed date for the dungeon. Thank you so much to Vinny to actually giving us this date. And there's a, there's a lot to do. There's a lot has been done. A lot still needs to be done as well. But I think I think we've got a lot of things happening within this update. So I'm kind of excited to show you guys exactly what today's announcement was for Dungeon Quest. But if you guys aren't already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. We are doing daily videos at the moment and hopefully we can stick with that and we are going to be just streaming every single day when the update does come out. So the day of the update all through the week, we will be streaming the brand new update to give you guys rounds in carries in insane in nightmares we're gonna be streaming for cosmetics we're gonna be doing a ton of content on there for that so i cannot wait to do that so also make sure to hit the post notification so you'll be notified when i do go live and when i do post videos we have a ton to go over so i think it's really fair that we show you the exact message that vinnie had sent us today so at 8.05 this morning for myself on the 3rd of January 2021 or for other people it's more still like December here but he says update on the progress of the brand new dungeon the majority of work is done including the weapons armors logo loot tables most of the bosses abilities and the map but the remaining tasks left to be done for the dungeon include finish implementing the smaller mobs inside of the dungeon he needs to add in one more warrior ability as well as finish the final boss mechanic and he wants it to be challenging but also soloable so soloable solo able to be done solo there we go we'll just we'll just make it a bit more easier on the english for us and also he said he still needs to finish by doing balancing health damage and xp for the brand new dungeon as well as icons for all of the items and some other things but here's the real kicker for the update. He says, if I had to give an estimate amount of time for the dungeon, I assume it will be ready by this weekend coming up, which is the 8th, guys. We have a dungeon coming on the 8th, more than likely, or even before then. So he also goes on to say, but maybe before then, but it will probably make most sense to release the dungeon on a Friday. So if you guys don't know, the 8th is Friday, which is going to be the 9th, which is Saturday for us in Australia, which means I am going to be working, but I will make sure during my break at work we get to stream this because I don't think you guys will mind it if I stream and work at the same time because we get to do dungeon quests, you guys get to be involved, we get to have a lot of fun, but yeah, we have a confirmed date for the update being this weekend coming soon. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five to six days before the update does actually come out and I am so, so excited for it. And because we have had a ton of suggestions in the Dungeon Quest Suggestions channel. I'm going to be giving you guys a few of them for what you guys have liked over the past few weeks because I know that there is a ton and I know a lot of you guys want your like ideas showcased. So obviously, we're going to go through this for you guys right now. Obviously, we're going to have some legendaries items as well being things because someone said spell ideas for the brand new dungeon and hopefully Vinny has looked at these. And this is by Ramelboy64. I'm not sure entirely about um, how to say these people's names, but it's okay. Sorry if I'm moving my microphone around. And he says there should be an aquatic smite spell. I think that'd be very, very cool. He also said there should be a whirlpool spell as well as an Ad Atlantean spirit spell. He's not really sure on that one. But he also has some weapon ideas for the brand new dungeon as well, being called Prismarine Pike, Pike, Pike. Oh my God, Pike, Prismarine Pike, Prismarine Broadsword, and the legendary should be a poisonous warrior trident. And he said, "I swear, if the legendaries are not a trident, I will go what?" But I can 100% agree with that. If the legendary is not a trident, I think I am going to rage. This is like the perfect thing to have a trident, but. Here's where it's like a little bit confusing for people. Everyone's like, it should be the warrior one. It's a warrior weapon. And I'm like, no, no, no. Trident has powers. Powers is spells. Spells are mage. We need a trident for the mages. I'm not sure if it should be like blue or it should be golden like the Aquaman one. I think that'd be really cool as well. 
is that we've already seen the armor, we've seen the Lurgar, and we might have a link on the Legendary. We'll just have to wait a few days to see if that is confirmed or not for you guys. But we also have some things being in here being like rarities items or more cosmetic items being here and people said that they should actually make a lobby three in a big tunnel at the very end of the path possibly inside of the dungeon originally i will say this originally the big giant black gaping hole in the dungeon was supposed to lead to a level 100 plus lobby originally will say that now because it's completely changed it's originally what it was for but it was supposed to be for an amazing new third lobby but um I kind of see why they didn't do it. I usually just use the main lobby. I know a lot of people actually use the second lobby especially when they are doing public boss raids but I don't personally see needing to go to the second lobby anymore but that could just be me I'm not entirely sure but the top suggestion for the entirety of this DQ suggestions page is actually going to be an easier way to sort the inventory in classes such as mage, warrior and guardian and also be able to sort them from damage from low to high or even potential greatness or things like that we need something like that my inventory is so cluttered and I know a ton of you were like Kira you sold a collectible and I'm like oh sorry I just don't use it anymore I, I can't keep track of what's in my inventory especially when I don't know what it is like I will sit there and go through yep 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 and I'll still sell something that I wasn't supposed to sell oh my goodness I it is so triggering when I go back I'm like I needed that but I sold it so I do that with spells all the time just gonna say that and someone actually said for this new update they should have legendary weapon cosmetics for every dungeon to make more free weapon cosmetics and something to grind for obviously people would like to see a ton of new things inside of this update and i think more than one cosmetic would be great for this they should be able to give us a title a cosmetic armor piece a legendary um weapon even for it i think it'd be really really cool just to have like a set that you can collect and be able to like put in like a collection book like yeah i got this 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 and this i think that'd be really cool i have been collecting them especially because you have to have three of the dungeon specific cosmetics for the excalibur quest speaking of is the excalibur quest going to be coming out during this update i have absolutely no idea i have a hint that maybe it might i'm not sure i know we've talked about it constantly but i do know that Vinny wanted to make it a very very big update in the solo update even just because it's going to be a very very big event to happen hopefully fingers crossed that it happens before it hits two years but we also have the next suggestion of being at a market where you can sell items for specific amounts of gold to other players and they can buy it and you can obviously choose the price that you put on items you sell i think it'd be a really cool thing to do because say for example i put the bronze dagger out for one coin you know that'd be like the ultimate troll to put the bronze dagger out for a one coin i think it'd be so cool but i'm not sure how duplicating things would go on that i know duplicating has been a very big issue in the past and then we also have this suggestion which i haven't actually thought of before is how about the option to hide just the vip tag i personally don't like to be having the gold on gold with the level frame with the large vip letters above your name so like could you be able to toggle that in the cosmetics menu or something which is vip exclusive obviously and just the prefix in chat would remain i know a lot of people get a lot of hate for actually having the vip tag i know i personally have when i used to have just the vip tag people would be like she's rich she's got money she can give us stuff and i'm like oh gosh please don't please don't do that please just don't beg for items from people it actually gets very triggering when that's all your chat is sometimes just just saying and one suggestion, oh my goodness, I love the suggestion that I did see. It was the possibility to make the spells transparent if you are in a first person mode. So the option to go into first person mode and third person mode should be a toggled button possibly. And they want to be able to have it so it's transparent and other spells can be hidden during that too. Because I know more than anyone, going in first person mode on these dungeons is super hard. Especially with all of the spells that we currently have. They're so bright, they're so colourful, they're so 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 bright oh my goodness it actually hurts my eyes sometimes to play dungeon quest for long amounts of time because all i will see is um 
flashing lights and blinding lights and I actually should start giving an epilepsy warning before some of my videos because some of the spells are actually very triggering to a lot of people's eyes and I've actually had problems where someone has actually had this reach out to me and be like I cannot watch your dungeon quest videos even though I want to I just have to listen to them because I cannot physically look at the spells on the screen so hopefully we can actually add in modes that are more friendly for that as well and obviously more and more suggestions come in every single day like quests inside of dungeons I want there to be quests this time around if there's not quests D Vinny Vinny come on it's been almost two years that the dungeon quest has been out I've almost been playing this game for two years and there's only been one quest for dungeon quest and it's still not complete I want the ability to make quests or even just like you know say for example as a moderator in the game I can actually put out a global quest or I can be like hey guys complete this for this many coins or this much XP or this much boost time I don't know I think it'd be a really cool thing just to add in for special events or so or something that you can only do for 24 hours I think it'd be really cool but if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a video or start each stream here because we are posting every single day. And now that we have a confirmed date for the brand new Dungeon Quest Dungeon, you guys will be able to see the update here first on my channel as we will go live as soon as it drops. But yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you guys may be in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye, guys.